Good morning, Kipsters. And thank you for coming back to join me for another Read Aloud this morning. Our title of our story today is called How I Made a Friend. Hi, my name is William. You're probably wondering which one of these kids I am. None. I'm not here. I'm here in my room. This is me, happy and alone. Chasing a ball was never my thing. I'll tell you what I like to do. I like to stay in my own quiet room. I like to make spooky masks, mask of monsters and pirates and clowns and anything that you can give that can give you the chills. I like to wake up really early. I walk to school when the other kids were still at home having their breakfast. When there was no one around, I would imagine the world dancing all around me. I was happy on my own empty sidewalk. After school, I like to go straight to the park. At that time, the park was very quiet. I was alone there. With one of my scary masks on, I became a monster. Boo! I was so happy in my own empty park. And that was happy, that was my happy little world until this kid showed up. I didn't know his name. All I knew was that his family just moved to our town. I started seeing him at school and everywhere I went. Every morning, there he was on my sidewalk. He was tiny, but all I could see was him. The world stopped dancing around me. He took away my dear empty sidewalk. After school, there he was again in my park. He was there every day alone reading a book. I couldn't play with my mask anymore, not with him around. That tiny kid took away my lovely quiet park. Then one evening, the worst happened. My parents invited his parents for dinner to welcome them to our neighborhood. My dad asked me to take him to play in my room. My room? No chance. Tiny kid was surely not welcome in my room. I had a plan. When tiny kid walked into my room, I turned off the lights and boo! I gave Tiny Kid the scare of his tiny life. Boo, boo, boo. But Tiny Kid stood still in the dark, staring at me in a creepy way. He gave me tiny tingles. Then he started laughing loud like a crazy tiny kid. <laughs> Funny monster mask, he giggled. Funny, you're not scared, I asked. <laughs> no way, I like monsters, he answered. I read monster stories all the time. Dude, you should put some crazy hair on this mask and make it even scarier. I should? I never thought about that. Sure, do you have some colored paper? We spent the evening cutting and gluing paper hair to all my masks. I was very excited. He was very serious. The mask looked way scarier with freaky hair. He was right. Time flew fast. It was soon time for Tiny Kid to leave. When I go to the park tomorrow after school, we can try out our masks there. I propose. 
Sure. We met the next day. Boo! Boo! And the day after? And the one after that too. We still go to the park. It's our favorite hangout place. When we're tired of goofing around with my mask, we read one of his spooky monster stories. We have a lot in common, me and Ollie. Oh, I forgot to tell you. His name is Oliver. I still call him Tiny Ollie. He calls me Wacky Willie. Tiny and wacky. I like that. Good friends always have secret code names. Oh, did I tell you that we are walking to school together every morning? Really early when other kids are still at home having their breakfast. Sometimes we talk, sometimes we're silent. It doesn't matter. We are happy on our own empty sidewalk. The world is dancing around me, and this time I can tell a friend about it. Now, tell me, do you have a cool friend? The end. Thank you so much, as always, for sitting back, relaxing, enjoying a read aloud with Miss Coates. I want you to take this time now to kind of reflect and think about all your friends that you have at school, in your neighborhood, in your apartment building, or maybe another friend at a different school you went to. Remember all of those fun and exciting things and ex exciting times you guys had together. Those times will surely come back as we continue to as we continue, sorry, with Google Classroom. Bye guys, have a good day.